Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a canyon drive with the Focus RS, which it is being blocked by a couple of trash cans. I guess that's fitting for, no, I'm just kidding. But what I want you guys to let me know before we take this up and down the canyon is if you'd want me to do a canyon review with the T-Rex. Obviously, this is supposed to be like a high-performance off-road truck that's crazy fast and all that kind of stuff, but I don't know, maybe you guys wanna see what it's like driving it up and down a canyon. And if you guys are wondering here with my Focus, it is completely stock other than the wheels. It's got a set of after market wheels obviously it has the wrap um, but these wheels do have the pilot super sports on it so that does kind of change how this drives compared to a fully stock car if that makes sense uh, but other than that everything else is stock let's get a little acceleration here pretty good right <laughs> pretty good if you guys are wondering i'm in the sport mode with the trash control all the way off so trash control stability control everything has been turned off here with the rs i think this is my favorite driving mode i originally was driving this around in track mode but the thing that i found about the track mode is it felt like the car kind of just understeered all the time and so i found myself not wanting to be in that drive mode pretty much just because of the understeer. Let's get our canyon drive in here. Love the sounds that the RS makes. And for a canyon carving car, this thing is amazing. And you really don't need to push this to the limit. That's the thing that I love about the RS is you can have a good time just going through the gears and you don't feel like you really need to, again, push things to the limit. You don't have to go as fast as you can around every single corner. You don't need to hit the apexes perfectly. You don't need to be in the exact right gear to get the most amount of power. You can just kind of casually sit here, like right now I'm in third gear. You know, casually go up to fourth gear at about 4,000 RPMs, not even close to red line, and just enjoy the handling and the turn in of the car. This is one of those cars that you can really enjoy at you know seven tenths six to even six tenths like you really don't have to be all the way to the limit now when you do push it to the limit it does kind of have its own exciting characteristics about it but again you really don't have to push this to the limit you just can have fun going through the gears rev match down shifting getting some fun accelerations and really just enjoying this around the corners. One of my favorite things to do here is to come in these corners right here and then just carry the speed through the corner and, and just basically enjoy the handling of the RS. Like it's, and it sounds so good. And this is just stock. I'm excited to do an aftermarket exhaust because then it'll kind of make the driving experience even more exciting than it already is. But I mean, again, like I'm really not anywhere close to the limits of the car. And I'm just enjoying the handling, all that kind of stuff. And so this is really one of those cars where you can very easily enjoy it at very legal speeds and just have an absolute blast with the car and it I mean it gets great grip and like I don't feel the need to go crazy fast with the straightaways like obviously I could have gone significantly faster with that straightaway but I don't feel the need what I kind of like to do with this is I actually like to purposefully slow down before I come into a corner and then just kind of mash it through the corner and just really kind of like push the car to the edge around the corner and then just slow down again I know that that might not be the most exciting for some people but I mean, it's kind of what this car is all about. And you can see it just pretty much grips all the time. Like it doesn't matter how much you put in, it'll just grip and grip. Like, look at this. It's such a fun car. It's so fun to go through the gears. Like as a Canyon driving car, this has been one of the most exciting. And another nice thing about this is because it's not a crazy expensive vehicle, obviously driving up and down canyons does put quite a bit of wear and tear on a vehicle from the brakes um, to the engine, all that kind of stuff. Because when you're going up, right, if you're driving hard, like how I'm driving a little bit harder, you are gonna put more stress on the engine and the turbochargers. And then when you're coming down, if you're driving hard, you are going to put more on the brakes. Of course, we've got someone with the Trump thing. <laughs> just chilling there 
I don't know why that's so funny. I love I love Utah people. They're hilarious. But yeah. It's an inexpensive car to maintain and so it makes it exciting to just kind of mash through the canyon and not really have to stress about anything. So we're coming up to one of my favorite parts here in the canyon and it looks like we have what is this? What is this? Wait for it. Another Focus RS. <laughs> of course they wave at me. They're probably doing the same exact thing I am, just enjoying the canyon. This right here is a passing lane. Obviously I don't need to pass anyone, so we're not gonna go crazy. Uh, but uphill with the Focus RS, it's great. It has more than enough power to get uphill. Tons of fun. I never feel like, again, I don't feel like I need more power. Being turbocharged, you don't get the power loss at elevation you get with the naturally aspirated engine, so it does great. And it's just a blast. But we'll flip around, head back down the canyon, and talk about how the dynamics are going downhill. Let's talk about our downhill dynamics with the Focus RS. Definitely get that turbo shove once you really get into the boost. Now, going downhill, obviously, it's going to be a lot more braking with the car uphill. You can pretty much just it depends on how aggressive you're driving right you might have to do a little bit of braking if you're driving super aggressive going uphill downhill you'll definitely have to do some uh, braking even if you're not driving crazy aggressive or anything like that that bicycle is just past that little fiat that is awesome but yeah you can see you will do a little bit of braking mid corner throttle like it's just amazing just how this car is and i'm going to take this corner really slow just because there's a bicyclist just for safety reasons don't want to do anything that could potentially put the cyclist in harm or anything like that but now that we're past him and kind of get into it again like the car just stays so planted and then coming into here the brembo brakes really come into play stop a little bit and then you can kind of throttle through the corner slow down a little bit again like it's just great and you can pretty much stay in third gear most of the time here with the Focus RS. Like sometimes, yeah, you might wanna go up a little bit, but again, I found this engine's relatively comfortable at higher RPMs. Um, as long as you're not there for a crazy long period of time, and so you can just kind of, like that whole area, just chilling in third gear. Yes, again, at higher RPMs, I understand. Uh, but I mean, you can pretty much do it with the Focus RS. And you guys can see the handling here is just, amazing like it's just it's so flat and it's just yeah it's great well that person decides that they want to uh, stay in front of me instead of pulling over like a reasonable human being when someone's trying to have a little bit of fun canyon driving but still get some <laughs> pops and crackles and we can still enjoy this to an extent that was a horrible rev match I love just the pops out of the exhaust. It just, it makes it that much more exciting and enjoyable when you are driving this up and down a canyon. Yeah, I mean, it's got enough torque though too. I could just not even go into second, just stay in third the whole time. And you just ride the torque here with the Focus RS. But since we're stuck behind the slow person and they are not going to pull over because people don't do that here in Utah. They do in California, but not here in Utah. We'll sum things up here with the Focus RS as a canyon driving car. And I feel like that's what this car is the best at is driving up and down canyons. I understand some people take us on the track and all that kind of stuff. It'll do great. Uh, but again, it kind of slowly tapers off the top end. You know what, actually, I'll just pull off here to the side for a minute and then we'll kind of get back on. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Oh, oh, we got enough ground clearance. We made it. Well, hopefully we have some reasonable space. It's so much fun. It's just, I love the acceleration. It's not overwhelming. It's not crazy fast or anything like that, but it's just enough that it's exciting and it's engaging. And I love the steering feel with the Focus RS too. It just, the turn in is great. There's so much grip. Like again, I know it's kind of cliche, but this really does kind of feel uh, race car-ish or rally car-ish. I don't know what other way to put it, but like it just has a really nice feel uh, that you don't get in a lot of cars when you are uh, driving them in this application. And gosh, that you either pass the bicyclist or you don't. You don't like stand. <laughs> some some people. We're just gonna stay. We're just gonna stay behind them because we're not gonna be that person that just uh, endangers everyone else. But anyways. 
capping things off, more than enough power and torque to get you up and down the canyon. You can have fun at legal speeds with the Focus RS. Yes, it's fast, you can go at even quicker speeds than that. Uh, but the fact that you can enjoy this legally definitely is a lot of fun for me because it's like, it takes away the stress of obviously driving places and you're like, oh my, I'm having fun, but am I gonna get pulled over? So it kind of pulls away from the fun. Whereas this, you don't really get that stress. Uh, but again, you can get up to pretty high speeds if you wanna really push it, it does it. And yes, it makes it even more fun, but again, you don't have to do that to have fun. It actually gets pretty good fuel economy. So most of the times when I drive up and down the canyon, even when I'm going really hard on the car, I still get about 16 miles per gallon, which some of you might be like, that's horrible. But I mean, for doing some spirited driving, having some fun and all that kind of stuff, I feel like that's really good fuel economy. And see, this is what you do is you wait for there to be a little bit of space. And then you go when they have a biking lane, not passing them when they don't have a biking lane like some people. Uh, but yeah, you can have fun legally. You get pretty good fuel economy and again, when you do have wear and tear happen on the car, it's pretty easy to replace. And so I feel like this is a great Canyon car and you can do it in the winter time too, because this has all wheel drive. So throw on your winter tires and you can blast up and down the Canyon in winter and just have tons of fun. Uh, so as a Canyon car, the Focus RS is absolutely fantastic. It's so much fun. And so if you're looking at, uh, basically different cars and you're like, you know, I, I want to be able to have fun, but I don't want to break the law. And I want something that I could daily drive all that kind of stuff. Cars like the Focus RS, right? Subaru STI, Honda Civic Type R, all that kind of stuff. They're just perfect for that. What I would say rating wise from the cars that I have driven is here's what I kind of feel about it. The Mitsubishi Evo is really fun to drive, but it sucks as a daily driver. The STI is a great daily driver, but it's not as engaging to drive. The engine's amazing. That's the high point of the STI, but the rest of the car, suspension, all that kind of stuff, I'm not a huge fan of. And then the Honda Civic Type R is by far the most fun to drive, even though it's front wheel drive, it's the most engaging, it's the most exciting, like everything about that car is just an absolute blast. I love the Honda Civic Type R. And then the Focus RS is kind of in between. It's I would say for me personally, from driving both of them, I feel like it's a little bit more daily drivable than a Honda Civic Type R, but then it's also not as exciting and as engaging on a road, a back road like that to drive as the Honda Civic Type R. So it just depends on what you're looking for. But if you are looking at sports cars and all that kind of stuff, I would seriously consider a hot hatch because you could daily drive it and have tons of fun with it. That's what I'm doing and I think it's worth it.